everybody. Um, we would like to thank you. My name is Wendy Anderson. I'm the director of the Chamber of Commerce, and it's wonderful to see this many people. So thank you all for coming, and I'm going to introduce Father Chalov. He's going to give us an invitation. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, you revealed your glory to all nations, God of power and might, wisdom and justice. Through you, authority is rightly administered, laws are enacted, and judgment is decreed. We pray for Catherine, the new mayor of the city of St. Clairsville, for the judges, the elected civil officials, and all city officials, and all others who are entrusted to guard our political welfare. May they be enabled by your powerful protection to discharge their duties with honesty and ability. We likewise commend to your unbounded mercy all the citizens of the United States, that we be blessed in the knowledge and sanctified in the observance of your holy law. May we be preserved in union and that peace which the world cannot give, and after enjoying the blessings of this life, be admitted to those which are eternal. We pray to you who are Lord and God forever and ever. Amen. All right, I'd like to introduce you to Judge Giotto. How are we doing, everyone? Oh, I'm nervous. You should be nervous. <laughs> Won't you raise your right hand? Yes, sir. Repeat after me. I, Catherine. Uh, that's right. I, Catherine Tolman. Swear that I will support the Constitution. Swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States of the United States and the Constitution of Ohio and the Constitution of Ohio will administer justice will administer justice without respect to persons without respect to persons and will faithfully and will faithfully and impartially and impartially discharge and perform discharge and perform all the duties incumbent upon me all the duties incumbent upon me as mayor as mayor according to the best of my ability according to the best of my ability i so swear i so swear congratulations thank you Jim. in my life and for answering so many prayers. Secondly, I'd like to thank the officials, our elected officials, officials who have taken the time to attend. Thank you so much, Judge Forjato. He's always been a role model to me. I told him this earlier. I've just respected him forever. He is a wonderfully fair judge and he's also someone who volunteers all the time. I'm very, very honored that he would do this. And the fact that my niece loved his wife when she was at St. Mary's, she'd be in to see Mrs. Forgiano every day. So, but thank you so much for graciously agreeing to administer the oath despite this hectic Christmas season. To my sister Colleen, where are you? There she is. My brother-in-law, Drew. My friends, including Jody and Jim Williams, who tirelessly encouraged, counseled, walked for me, talked with me, and helped me in any way they could. My friend Julie, my two littlest nieces here, Kara and Sierra, who went out and put Tolman for Mayor shirts on and walked. And of course, Ian Marie McConaughey, my niece who brought an absolute army over, and they went and they covered St. Clair's with like Napoleon at Waterloo. They just, they were out in every house. And I, oh wait, Napoleon lost, didn't he? That was a bad analogy. <laughs> Thank you very much, Jim Beal, 
and Sue DeVoy for helping so much keeping the issues front and center in the city. It's so important. You can't make good decisions unless information is out there. And finally, to everybody here who voted for me, and even if you didn't, you've prayed for me, and it's appreciated more than you ever could know. And through your efforts and votes, and I didn't even think about this till somebody pointed out, I'm, I'm the first woman mayor of St. Clairsville. So, <laughs> and, and that is a huge milestone for the city, and it's one that I embrace, and I will take very seriously. I'm eager to begin working with our wonderful council. I see some of our councilmen here. I saw Perry looking very dapper back here. Beth Oprish, I'm not sure if Mike is here. I think he's gonna to try to make it, he might be working. And if I'm missing anyone, I apologize. Who else? Mark, okay, Mark, I'm sorry, didn't mean. Who? Linda. Linda. Linda, I'm sorry, Linda. Yes, you are here, I apologize. I didn't mean to slight you, but I thank you guys very much for being here. I'm so excited to have the opportunity to work with them. We are going to have so much excitement, and we are going to do some wonderful things for this city. There's a lot of good energy. Um, we'll be addressing lots of things. First and foremost, we'll be looking at the water issues. And there are going to be a lot of opportunities coming to St. Clairsville. A new day has indeed dawned. This new administration will bring open eyes and open hearts, as well as enthusiasm and energy to move St. Clairsville forward. We will view St. Clairsville with 2020 vision. Anybody get that little pun? I insisted that be in there. Uh, we'll be pointing toward the future and respecting our past. And as a way of meeting residents, unless the weather is inclement, one idea to be taking a walk through town, walking Wednesdays, and I'll be bringing my puppy Sammy, so uh, the mayor needs to do more walking. But we will have a chance to talk and to engage with our residents and hear what concerns you about our city. Details will follow about that. We will continue to honor my campaign platform of transparency and change for a new vision. Einstein said that chance favors the prepared mind. We will prepare for the future and for the economic opportunities as well as address the safety of our city. And I'm very thankful and grateful to see so many of our policemen here. Thank you, gentlemen. I appreciate it. They are the best. They are the best. Options will be explored through creativity and applying good, solid business principles. And finally, thank you in advance for your patience and your kindness during all the months that I campaigned, I was blessed to have met so many wonderful, kind people. I remember I was walking through Kennedy Park in late October, and I had whatever the cold was that everybody had, coffee. And this lady went in, she said, let me get you a cup of coffee. And she gave me a cup of coffee in a styrofoam cup. And I thought, that was just so really nice. And that was so typical of the people I've met in this town. We all know there was some dirt being thrown around on social media, but 99.999% of this pe the people in this town are absolutely wonderful, and I am humbled to be representing you. I look at my role in this city as to improve it for the next generation. We're reaching out to our younger citizens now, in fact. I'm going to ask you to use your energy and your talents to help make St. Clairsville the best it can be. It's a new decade, a new dawn, and a new beginning for St. Clairsville. Thank you all very, very much. Thank you. Please help yourselves with cookies and snacks and drinks and help yourselves and please come up and say hi. I appreciate it.